Automatic injectables in skin of color, a review of uses, safety, and effectiveness of neuromodulators and dermal fillers. Shanice McKenzie, MD, Jason Wang, MD, MS, Ariel Carolina Mora Hurtado, BS, Pushpinder Upal, MD, Susan C. Taylor, MD, Nada Albuluk, MD, MSC, the 29th of March, 2024, https colon slash slash doit.org slash one zero dot one 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 slash jock d dot one six two nine seven abstract background skin of color sock individuals represent a growing market for cosmetic injectables and can have different aesthetic goals and responses to treatment objective a review of the uses safety and effectiveness of injectable neuromodulators and dermal fillers in sock individuals methods and materials a search of the PubMed Medline database was conducted from August 1960 to December 2020. Studies that were included either had a focus on SOC semicolon 20% SOC study participants or dedicated article content commenting on the safety and or efficacy of injectables and in SOC participants. Results of the 503 publications identified. A total of 88 articles were selected for this review. Differences in aging and cultural factors can influence aesthetic goals among SOC populations. Available data suggests that botulinum toxin, BTX, and dermal fillers are safe and effective in SOC populations, with the largest amount of data existing for Asian populations. There remains a paucity of research on Black and Latinx populations. Conclusion BTX and dermal fillers are generally effective and well tolerated in SOC populations, particularly Asian populations for which the greatest amount of data exists. More high quality, randomized controlled trials in black and Latinx populations are warranted. One introduction. In an era of advancing cosmetic procedures and increasing population diversity, it is important to have an understanding of the nuanced aesthetic goals of diverse patient populations. This knowledge is particularly important when considering that in 2020, 40% of the United States, USA, population identified as a racial or ethnic minority in these populations are projected to further increase to over 50% by 2044.1 in 2022. Approximately 23.6 million non-surgical cosmetic minimally invasive procedures were performed in the USA.2 in 2020. Racial and ethnic minorities accounted for 18% of neuromodulator procedures and 22% of soft tissue augmentation procedures. 3. Thus, knowledge of indications, safety, and efficacy of cosmetic injectables in patients of diverse skin types is essential. Skin of color, SOC, populations can include a wide range of heterogeneous racial and ethnic groups, including but not limited to people of Asian, Black, Hispanic Latinx, American Indian, Pacific Islander, and biracial multiracial descent. For a complete understanding of the variations in facial morphology, which exists across various races and ethnicities is key to successful aesthetic enhancements. In the face of divergent structural, cultural and aesthetic considerations in SOC, this article provides an overview of the available literature on the applications as well as the safety and efficacy of neuromodulators and soft tissue augmentation in SOC with an emphasis on Asian populations for which there is the greatest amount of data. There remains a paucity of data for non-Asian SOC populations and this limited data will also be reviewed. Two methods. A literature search of the PubMed Medline database was conducted spanning dates August 1960 to December 2020. Keywords included botulinum toxin, dermal filler, Asian, skin of color, people of color, ethnic skin, race, black, African American, Caucasian, White, Hispanic, Latino, Fitzpatrick, and variations of these terms. Criteria for inclusion included a focus on SOC semicolon 20% SOC study participants or dedicated article content commenting on the safety and or efficacy of injectables in SOC participants being written in the English language, and institutional access. Priority was given to randomized controlled trials and other included study types were meta-analyses, reviews, Perspective and retrospective studies, case series, case reports, and expert consensus guidelines. Articles were excluded if they did not include human subjects.
participant racial and or ethnic demographics, if not published internationally, use of injectables for non-facial cosmetic purposes, or if injectables were used in combination with other therapies, laser, grafting, three results. Of the 503 publications identified through the search strategy, a total of 88 articles were selected for this review. Of these 88 articles, 50 had level IM2 evidence and were assessed to investigate the uses, safety, and effectiveness of injectable neuromodulators and dermal fillers in SOC individuals. A flowchart for the selection of articles is shown in Figure 1. Articles were categorized according to participant race ethnicity demographics. This included Asian, Black Latinx, and combined SOC patient groups. The total number of analyzed patients in this review was 9,940. Details regarding the type of study, number of patients, race Fitzpatrick phototype, treated areas, dose, treatment period, outcome measure scoring method, and adverse event information for each of these studies are summarized in tables 1-3. Differences in aging and cultural factors can influence aesthetic goals amongst SOC populations. Available data suggests that BTX and dermal fillers are safe and effective in SOC populations, with the largest amount of data available for Asian populations. There remains a paucity of research on Black and Latinx populations. Figure 1. Open and Figure Viewer. PowerPoint. Flow diagram for a view of injectable studies on skin of color. SOC. Flow diagram depicting review process and the inclusion and exclusion process of studies identified on PubMed Medline databases. Table 1. Studies on injectables in Asian patients. Levels III evidence. Note. Summary of levels III studies on botulinum toxin and filler in Asian individuals. 4. Discussion. 4.1 Asians. The Asian population is heterogeneous and encompasses those with countries of origin in the Asian continent. Regions include East Asia, for example, China, Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Southeast Asia, for example, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, and South Asia, for example, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka.34. 35 The majority of the studies in this review originated from Korea. Japan, and China. Structural features that can be found in Asian populations including more prominent foreheads, wide intercanthal distance, short palpebral fissure, central face retrusion, anteromedial mid-face flattening, retrognathia, microgenia, and the lack of a supratarsal crease. 3638 in Asians, pigmentary changes including solar lentigenes, pigmented seb or keratosis, hypochromia, and mottled hyperpigmentation are seen in the early stages of aging with deep, coarse right eyes typically developing by the fifth decade of life. 39. 40. It has been suggested that Asians have a more malleable, skeletal framework, resulting in gravitational soft tissue descent and ptosis of the mid-face and malar fat pad, along with tear trough formation. 41. Studies have found preferential differences amongst East Asian population. Such as Japanese women tend to prefer thinner lips while Korean women tend to prefer thicker lips. 36 in addition, Koreans generally elect to highlight their palpebral creases and soften their mandibular angles to eliminate any square jaw appearance. 36 amongst Chinese patients, some favor larger earlobes, a symbol of richness in traditional Chinese culture. 42. Multiple high-quality studies have assessed the safety and effectiveness of botulinum toxin. BTX, in the treatment of glabella lines in Asian populations, Table 1, two double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled studies demonstrated that BTXA was effective in treating glabella lines in both Chinese and Japanese subjects, 8, 11 the response rate at maximum contraction at day 30 was 94.1% in Chinese subjects, 11 which was similar to the 88.6% response rate in Japanese subjects. 8 in another study of glabella line treatment in Japanese subjects. 20 U doses of BTXA provided longer duration, greater subject satisfaction, and greater subject rated improvement compared to 10 U doses, while both doses provided long term safety and efficacy. 9 comparing Asians to non Asians in a pooled analysis of 4 phase 2 slash phase 3 trials. 20 U in cobotulinum toxin A provided a slightly higher response rate in the improvement of glabella lines and lower rate of adverse events. 15. 
There have been several consensus guidelines on use of BT exonations. 43, 44 in 2016. The Pan Asian Aesthetics Toxin Consensus Group described three Asian facial morphotypes Northern, Intermediate, and Southern, and recommended specific strategies for each, including using bony and muscular landmarks rather than soft tissues for injections and injecting 0.5 U into the frontalis on each side to prevent the arched samurai eyebrow. 0.43, although specific to Koreans. Consensus guidelines from 2013 address BTX treatment of glabella lines, crow's feet, infraorbital wrinkles, nasal flare, depressed nasal tip, and benign masseta. Hypertrophy. 44. Regarding adverse effects, a meta-analysis of six double-blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled and three open-label studies, N equals 1,678 with an aggregate cohort that was 52% Asian and 43% white. Asian patients trended towards a higher likelihood of eyelid sensory disorders and eyelid edema but a lower likelihood of eyelid ptosis as adverse events. And this was attributed to awareness of the differences in Asian and white eyelid anatomy, including upper neurotic insertion locations and the fact that Asian levator muscles do not penetrate the orbicularis muscle and orbital septum. 10 A more recent literature review suggested a 1.4% incidence of BTX-induced eyelid edema, with an elevated risk amongst Asians. 45 The rate of these adverse events can be lowered by using doses less than 20 U, which was found to be effective for treating all glabella line patterns in a randomized pilot study of 465 Chinese volunteers. 46 Though lower doses of BTX may help reduce the rate of adverse events. As discussed by Kawashima et al., a shorter duration of response after treatment may be observed with the use of 10 U doses as compared to 20 U doses. 9. A common off-label use of BTX in Asians is for mass to muscle hypertrophy to reduce the width of the lower face, converting a square face to a more oval shape. 35. This minimally invasive strategy has largely replaced surgical resection of the Masseterima botulinum toxin B, Onobotulinum toxin A, and Incobotulinum toxin A have been studied for this indication. Rimabotulinum toxin B has similar efficacy to Onobotulinum toxin A, but may have a shorter duration of action. 13. And Incobotulinum toxin A has been established as non-inferior to Onobotulinum toxin A. 12. In Indians of Asian descent. BTXA injections every 12 weeks were effective at maintaining significantly reduced masseter volume through a four-year follow-up period. 19 other studies have found this application of BTX to be generally both safe and effective. 6, 7, 16, 19, 47, 49 however, high-quality randomized controlled trials evaluating the safety and efficacy of this treatment are lacking. 50. Regarding safety, the incidence of complications included temporary mastication force decrease, 30%, bruising, 2.5%, headaches, 0.58%, smile limitation, 0.15%, paradoxical bulging, 0.49%, subzygomatic volume loss, 0.44%, and sagging, 0.4%. In a recent study, 50 injecting within the safe zone, described as three four different locations at least one centimeter from any border was recommended to prevent complications. 51 many of these complications are transient. 51, 52, dermal fillers have been studied extensively in Asian populations. Table 1, there were several studies evaluating the safety and effectiveness of hyaluronic acid, HA fillers for the treatment of nasolabial folds. NLFs, in the Asian population, 20, 27, 31, 33, 53, 54 generally, HA fillers were effective for the treatment of NLFs in Asian patients with significant improvement in the appearance of moderate to severe NLFs, 27, 31, 33, 53, 54 adverse effects included injection site swelling and pain, but the majority were mild to moderate and transient. 20, 27, 31, 33, 53, 54 other studies are highlighted in Table 2. Table 2. Studies on injectables in black and latinx patients. Levels IIII evidence. Note, summary of level IIII studies on botulinum toxin and filler in black and latinx individuals. Regarding adverse events. 
There have been case reports and case series of granuloma formation, soft tissue embolism, skin necrosis, and non-inflammatory nodule of the chin. 6367 vascular compromise can result in visual impairment. 68 large volume HA fillers may also cause bone resorption in the mentaminogens, which doesn't impact the aesthetic result, but should be disclosed to patients in informed consent. 69 of note, this has not been studied in other racial ethnic groups. Consensus guidelines for use of fillers capture the specific aesthetic goals of Asians. 35, 70, 71 when injecting the mid-face. Volume should be placed in the medial half to correct structural deficits of the medial maxilla with projection and to restore volume in older patients. 35 caution should be exercised when volumizing the lateral mid-face to avoid augmenting the Bizagomatic distance which can be wider in Asians. 35. 4.2 non-Asian skin of color populations. 4. 2. 1. Black. The safety and efficacy of injectables have also been studied in black and Latinx populations to a lesser extent. Table 2. There are three publications describing the safety and efficacy of the neuromodulator, BTXA, specifically in the black population. 55. 56. 72 overall, treatment with BTXA was well tolerated in black populations. In one study, there were no significant differences in terms of clinical response and response duration between subjects injected at the glabella lines with 30U of BTXA compared to those injected with 20U BTXA. 55 These results are supported by a more recent study showing similar effectiveness and tolerability of BTXA in black patients compared to whites. 72 Interestingly, another study demonstrated a significantly greater response rate as assessed 30 days after treatment in SOC patients included in the study. 56 Adverse effects were generally mild and transient. 55 56 72 Three studies evaluated the safety and efficacy of injectable fillers in the black populations. In aggregate, these studies demonstrated that HA fillers had a favorable safety profile. Transient mild to moderate adverse events, a lack of immunogenicity, and no incidence of keloid formation in black subjects. 5759 These mild to moderate adverse events reported included redness, bruising, burning, swelling, induration, tenderness, pain, itching, scabbing, and hyper or hypopigmentation. 5759 Most changes in pigmentation started within a few days of the procedure and most resolved within 12 weeks. 57. 58 In a randomized split face trial evaluating the safety dermal fillers for NLF treatment in 150 patients with SOC, only three patients developed post inflammatory hyperpigmentation, characterized by hyperpigmentation that did not resolve by 12 weeks. 57 In an open label, Multicenter trial evaluating the safety and effectiveness of dermal fillers for NLF treatment in 93 patients with Fitzpatrick skin types IV, V, and 6. Hyperpigmentation was reported in one patient at week 12 and in one patient at week 24.59 overall. The rates of P were low. 57. 59 in patients with SOC. Pigmentary changes at treated sites have been observed with fast injection rates and with multiple puncture techniques. 57 to minimize the risk of pain patients with SOC, it is recommended to inject subdermally, use slower injection rates, and utilize injection techniques that minimize the number of punctures, such as linear threading. 57, 73, 74, in regard to scarring, no calloid scars were observed. 57, 59, one patient developed a mild hypertrophic scar, which was resolved by the subsequent visit. 57 hypertrophic scars are not included in the calloid classification, as these two types of scars differ in etiology and natural course. 57 further, the acute tolerability and adverse event profile seen in patients with SOC was similar to those reported in a trial involving predominantly white patients. 57 moreover, the incidence of systemic adverse events reported was low and ranged from 7.3% to 11.8.57. 59 These systemic adverse events were considered to be unrelated to treatment and were described as conditions seen in healthy adults such as influenza and gingival abscess. 59 Furthermore, HA fillers were effective in the treatment of facial, rightids and NLF. 
reducing writers by at least one wrinkle severity rating scale. WSRS, grade and semicolon 90% of patients at 6 and 12 weeks in one of the studies, 58 in another study. The wrinkle severity scale ratings in patients with Fitzpatrick skin types IVVI combined demonstrated improvement at all time points over the 24-week study period. 59, 4, 2, 2 Latinx. In the Latinx population, there are no robust prospective studies evaluating the safety and efficacy of cosmetic BTX. In a small descriptive study of mostly Latinx patients, BTX was the most popular cosmetic option. 75 There are three studies that focus on the safety and efficacy of injectable fillers in Latinx populations. These studies evaluated HA filler 62, 76 and polyl lactic acid filler. 62 treatment with dermal filler in the Latinx population was well tolerated as there were no serious treatment related adverse events in any of the studies. 61, 62, 76 it was also effective as measured by at least a one grade improvement on a four point volume loss scale. VLS, 62 and improvements lasted long term in studies with greater than one year follow up periods. 61, 76. There are few studies broadly evaluating the safety and efficacy of BTX in multiple SOC populations. Table 3. Proper injection techniques may reduce the risk of adverse events associated with treating patients of color. Specific minimal injection techniques, including linear threading, have been noted to reduce bruising in patients of color. 77A Prospective. Blinded. Randomized. Controlled trial of 283 diverse patients investigated injection techniques and their correlation to adverse events and concluded that injection volume and correction time affected the rate of post-inflammatory events. 78 The study also noted that more adverse events occurred with fan-like injections. 54% Compared to linear threading and multiple puncture injection techniques combined. 20.78 Table 3 Studies on injectables in combined skin of color. SOC patient groups level III evidence. Note, summary of level III studies on botulinum toxin and filler in combined SOC populations. 5. Conclusion. Neuromodulators and dermal fillers are useful and safe as cosmetic and anti-aging treatments in SOC populations, with the greatest amount of data supporting its use in Asian populations. These injectable agents offer patients effective treatments with minimal downtime and complications. During cosmetic consultations, physicians should consider the impact of different cultural beauty norms on the aesthetic goals of diverse patient populations. In this review, most of the recent data and formal consensus guidelines on injectables originated in Asian countries with a relative paucity of research on black and Latinx populations. Therefore, more studies with black and Latinx populations are warranted to fully understand and strengthen recommendations regarding the efficacy and appropriate use of cosmetic injectables in all skin types. Additionally, as new injectables, both fillers and neuromodulators are created. These also should be evaluated across diverse patient populations to determine best uses, safety, and efficacy, with a knowledge of anatomical differences amongst diverse populations. An understanding of cultural cosmetic norms combined with a background in treatment methods and techniques. Physicians can provide patients of all backgrounds with the highest levels of patient satisfaction while minimizing adverse outcomes. Author contributions. SM. JW. PU methodology. Investigation. Writing. Original draft. Review and editing. Visualization. ACMH writing. Review and editing. SCT writing. Review and editing. Supervision, any conceptualization, methodology, investigation, writing, original draft, review and editing, supervision, project administration, acknowledgements, there are no additional acknowledgements, funding information, no funding was received for this work, conflict of interest statement, Dr. L. Biluck is the director of the Skin of Color and Pigmentary Disorders program as well as the Diversity and Inclusion program at the University of Southern California. She serves as a consultant for Avita, Sintis, Insight, Visual DX, La Roche Posay, Barsdorf, Unilever. She has served on advisory boards for Allergen, Eli Lilly, Gulderma, Insight, Pfizer, Yangson, La Roche Posay, L'Oreal, McGraw Hill. Dior, 
She has been a speaker for Estee Lauder, La Roche-Posay, Cintis, Medscape, Biasdorf, Dior. She has received royalties from McGraw-Hill Book Royalties. She has served as an investigator for Avita. Dr. Taylor has been a speaker for Biasdorf, Live Derm, L'Oreal USA, Medscape, and MJH Life Sciences. She is on the advisory board for AbV, Arcutis, Avita Medical, Biasdorf, Biares, Bristol Myers Squibb, Cara Therapeutics, Dior, Eli Lilly, EP Health, Everless, Gulderma, Hugel, J&J, L'Oreal USA, Medscape, Pfizer, Regeneron Sanofi, Cintis US, UCB, and Vichy. She is a board member for Mercer Strategies. She has received royalties from McGraw-Hill Book Royalties. She does contracted research with Allergen Aesthetics, Consort Pharmaceuticals, Chroma Pharma GmbH, Eli Lilly, Pfizer. She has ownership interest in Armis Scientific, Glogetta, and Piction Health. The remaining authors have no conflict of interest to declare. Ethics Statement The authors confirm that the ethical policies of the journal, as noted on the journal's author guidelines page, have been adhered to. No ethical approval was required as this is a review article with no original research data. Open Research